Hello everybody, I'm Serta and welcome back to season two of Planet Crafter. Okay, um, as you can see, we have advanced a lot. We have unlocked a lot. And the reason that we've advanced a lot uh, without you guys seeing it is because uh, issues with recording software. But uh, yeah, I I'm not keen on putting up videos with no picture. So anyway, uh, yeah, let, let's see. We've unlocked a lot of stuff. And uh, one of the most important things is our tier three ore extractors. Absolutely fantastic. We've also unlocked the ability to craft, uh, when we get there, uh, circuit boards and pulsar quartz. It's a strange thing, but I always thought um, pulsars could be handcrafted in the crafting station, but it's not there anymore. So I'm not sure exactly what happened. Do I have a bug or is it maybe I missed something? So it looks like you can craft with the water crafters, but you can't handcraft. Anyway, so that's uh, that's that. Let's let's dive into this episode. Okay, so uh, here's something new. We we have the life watch collector, and if you go inside it. Oh, oh, we actually have a fish egg. But you also have phytoplanktons. Now, these phytoplanktons are used inside the incubator with a couple of other things to make fish eggs. Although, in various places, you can get different types of fish eggs uh, just straight out of the life water collector. So, let's head inside and we'll go upstairs. Now, as you can see, um, I'm able to craft because we have actually unlocked some of the fish eggs. Now, this this is a uh, maybe a bug that they're going to fix later, but I um, just want to take a look at where we are with the bio, um, because this might help some people get a, a bigger boost. Okay, uh, right. So we, we unlocked the Provius egg and the Guerrero egg, and we have not unlocked the rest. So, if we have a look inside the incubator at the recipes, there are no recipes that use phytoplankton C. All right, so bear that in mind. But if you put phytoplankton C in with your mutagen tier three and fertilizer, you still get certain fish. And here we've got the Buyu egg, which is a 350% multiplier, but because it's also one of those kind of lottery things, uh, now's a good time to actually make golden fish eggs with an animal multiplier of 500% because your chances of getting the, the golden eggs, uh, golden fish eggs, are much higher. So you, uh, if you haven't unlocked the other fish before. So, um, yeah, I, I did manage to craft a couple and I might do a couple more before I start actually... Um, boosting the animals. Right, water. I also have uh, food being sent to a container. So I um, suppose I can carry one with me. Right, so so that's what's changed there. And you probably noticed this little structure on the hill. Now this this is going along with my, my automation. This is where all the rods will be produced. So I have uh, all of them. No, super alloy, osmium, iridium, uranium. And I'm also doing explosives in here because it just so happens that, you know, there's the same stuff. So instead of having two separate locations for iridium, I'll, I'll just do it over here. Although I do have two separate locations for sulfur, but that's fine. And we don't have any sulfur. We don't have any iridium. Actually, none of these containers are set to demand anything as yet. Because, um, and there's this glitch again. Let me just go, uh, which one is it? This one. Click on it. Okay, now it's gone. I also increased the number of drones to 10. And uh, that's that's going to be... It, it, I just don't want that to be a bottleneck because, we, well, eventually we'll stress test this whole system and make sure that we've got enough to, to keep us going in our busiest times. So let's go and take a look uh, at what else we've done. So we're in the Super Alloy Cave. Uh, I still have some of the old Tier 2 uh, drills, but I have built a Tier 3. And I've set that... To mine super alloy man it's loud okay uh over time i um, i will break down these they're actually not really serving that much of a purpose anymore anyway 
but um, I'm leaving them just for now. And we'll add more super alloy uh, ore extractors, tier 3 ore extractors. I think right now that super alloy uh, extractor is set to supply to the container in the rod area but also to the, the super alloy container in the main storage area. Right, I've also added a tier three extractor in the osmium area and I've set it to, to osmium and that is set to supply. So that's gonna be supplying and there will be more. These old ones will get given the boot. Uncommon. Okay, so yeah, we, we're slowly we're slowly getting it together. We're hanging out in the sulfur area. Um, there's a reason that I did the super alloy and the osmium first. And that reason is that you need super alloy and osmium rods in order to make ore extractors. And we need more ore extractors. But at the same time, we also need more pulsar. And we're going to have to start crafting that. Which means that I need more of the tier 3 ore extractors to bring in the various items that are needed to craft pulsar so it's it's a bit of a balancing act at the moment um between power um which i, I do have a little um and what i can build in in terms of uh, ore extractors so right now if we look at our power we have 3600 and uh, 3463 excess power and those ore extractors use 289 so i could build 10 of them and I'm probably going to build quite a few. And the reason for that is because I want to start getting all of these containers filled. It means that there's going to be quite a few of those ore extractors. One of the first things I'm going to, I'm going to focus on are the items that are needed for the pulsars. So I have a pulsar autocrafter and pulsars need osmium, zeolite, iridium, uranium. Now I don't have a delivery service getting uh, uranium. Uh, or iridium for that matter so those are probably the next two or the the next two extractors that i'm going to put in i am getting oops I, I am getting the osmium and well the zeolite i don't have either so that's three of them that i need so let's let's do that i'm going to get the the materials together and we'll go out and build it now it's fairly fortunate that i am i'm auto crafting some of the rods already i think i also did put a tier three extractor i'll just take you there but a uh, tier three extractor in the aluminium area because we we need aluminium delivered so that we can do the the super alloy rods because they take eight super alloys and an aluminium so yeah we do have a tier three extractor in the aluminium area right well while i'm on this side i might as well go and set the one up in the in the uranium cave okay so here we are in the uranium cave we've never actually even had a mine in here just need to get some water uh, so, our first extractor. Ooh, how are we going to do this? Yep, like, like that. Uh, chances are, with a stress test, we, we may find that we actually need more of these. So I'm going to set that to uranium. I'm going to set it to supply uranium. And that should sort that out. Now our drones are going to start suffering with all this running around until containers are full. But I'm running out of uh, out of water, so I need to get back to a lake or something as quickly as possible. Okay, we're in the iridium cave. Oh, there's grass and stuff in here as well. Um, ore extractor. And I'll just pop that in there. I'll set that to... Iridium. And we'll set it to supply iridium. Where's the... Uh, there it is. Right, so that'll be working. I think what we can do with this one is just empty it and break it down. There's not much stuff in it. Oh, that's some of the old stuff gone. So we're here in the zeolite area, and uh, we'll just put that last extractor up over here. The last one for now. Damn. Try again. Right, so that's that sorted out. We'll set it to zeolite and supply. Cool, so now we'll have a zeolite supply. Okay, and now running around, we just unlocked the aquarium tier two. 
which is really cool because I haven't even done the Ethereum tier one yet. All right, I, I just need to get rid of some some stuff. Okay, awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I I've got that set up, and now the uh, yeah, every, everything's working. We we're getting pulsar, so we have pulsar, which is absolutely fantastic. Grab some food. All right, uh, offload time. Actually, I'm not going to offload. Um, I'm going to build. Let's just say, let me take enough stuff for another three. Three iridium. Super alloys we've got. Osmium rods. Three. Okay, we're still, we're still good on power after that. I did break down a couple of the T2 uh, ore extractors, so that's that's cool the next important place to put a auto uh, a tier three extractor is in the sulfur area and i think once we've done that then we can start focusing on putting t3 extractors for the the basic products and i think sulfur can with the ore extractor tier three i think the sulfur can be mined pretty much anywhere i don't think we have to put it in the sulfur area itself in fact, let me let me test that theory because then uh, we can just plant stuff in the sulfur area and we don't ever have to go there again. So right right over right over here, um, let me start this little mining operation and see can we get sulfur here? If so, um, then I'm just going to head to the sulfur area and remove that. So. Yeah, let's just set it to supply. It does make things a little bit easier on the on the drones if we aren't making them travel too far for absolutely everything. I mean, there's certain things that they have to travel far for, but um, if if you don't have if they don't have to travel far, it takes a bit of the load off them. We'll have to give that a moment to see if it actually produces sulfur. There. Okay, good news, folks. This uh, does produce sulfur, so. We can have like one setup of iron, silicon, magnesium, cobalt, and titanium, and sulfur. So we can have a setup of six extractors right next to each other in an area. Keep them all nice and compact. Not too far away from the base, but far enough away that they they don't look ugly. So yeah, that that's the sulfur done. Um, let's try and think, is there anything else? We've got super alloy, osmium, zeolite. Iridium, uranium, aluminium. Yeah. So the the last ones I can I can then put in are the the base materials. What if I've put this far enough away to put one in behind? Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to move the we're gonna have to move this one. Yeah, slightly move the sulfur one, so we're gonna have to just reset that. Supply sulfur. And then we can come over here. This one can do Let's say this is iron. Supply iron. Now I have set all the containers in the storage area to accept, uh, to, to demand. And back here we do need titanium a bit at the moment. So let's, let's set this one to titanium. And supply. That means that uh, to finish everything off, I only need three more, I think. If I've got the power for it, then I'm going to do them. Oh, yeah, i got power. So that means three more. All right, cool, I have the material. Good, so let's... Uh, one in. We'll set this one as... Uh, let's just set this one as magnesium. And it will supply magnesium. Next one down. This one we will set to cobalt. And it will supply cobalt. And one more. Okay, and this will be silicon, I think. And supply. I think that sets us up with... Um, with tier 3 extractors for everything 
I hope I didn't miss anything, but yeah, that's that means that we can start getting rid of the old stuff and we we will now need a lot more of these guys. So I think I'm gonna go and visit a wreck. Uh, I can craft um circuit boards, but you know, there there's a wreck with a whole bunch of circuit boards. So I think I'll just pop in there and go and break down a few servers. Okay, and there are a few more back here. Look out for the ones lying on the ground as well. Oh, there's another. Alright, now I'm not sure if there are any more left in here, but uh, we have more than what we need to, to get a few more drones going. Eventually we're going to have quite a lot of drones. Um, I don't want that to be the bottleneck when we, when we start pushing our production up. Okay, we have enough material on us to double up our drones and put another 10 in, so... There we go. We now have 20 drones. We have a look at the stat screen. We have 20 drones, 17 are supplying, 3 are demanding. Or uh, at least supplying and yeah, sending. Whatever, yes. That's what they're doing. So that's, that should speed up delivery of, of items. Um, let's just make sure that everything in the rod department is working as it should be. So aluminium is full. Is that actually set? Yes. Super alloys. Uh, those will take a while because I only have one extractor in the super alloy area. Osmium. Yep, those rods are being made. Iridium. Uranium, yes, and sulfur is going to take a little while as well. Do we have anything in? Nope. I think I need to go and check that sulfur thing. Uh, maybe I'll have a couple more sulfurs because sulfurs are used in explosives and in a fair bit of the bio stuff. So it's going to be highly demanded. Let's have a look at our power situation. Um, do we need another another fusion reactor or can we get away with maybe putting another couple of ore extractors in that's a possibility okay so we've we've got enough uh, for two more tier three ore extractors i wonder if i should do them all in the same place um i don't suppose it's that bad to have a quite a big mining area well, it's only going to be one extra sulfur over here. What I may do... Um, we'll change... We'll put the titanium somewhere else. So that we have, like, two sulfurs back to back. Ah, let's, let's do that. So we'll do one over here for, for the additional sulfur. Oh, wait. This will be for titanium. And, oh yeah. Supply. And then this one over here, I'm going to change this one to sulfur. Oh my word, there's there's quite a bit of titanium in here. Sulfur. Alright. So now we'll have at least two of each. I, I may put another sulfur in somewhere at some point. Uh, hydration. Alright, that's fine. I didn't bring food either, so... Okay, I think the other one that I'm going to do is going to be in the super alloy cave, because that's... Uh, we need quite a lot of that. So building up, and I think after that, I'm going to add um, one or two more fusion reactors. Yeah, just cleared out a couple of the old ore extractors, and we'll put in a new one. Oh, don't tell me I can't put it right next. I must be able to. What's going on? Ah, oh, there we go. That's a bit strange. All right, super alloy. And supply. Perfect. Okay, so we've we've got two here now. All right, neat and tidy. We we have uh, removed all the old stuff out of here, and we've now got these two tier three ore extractors, which is absolutely spectacular. Which means that we are. Pretty secure on on supply right now 
and there are drones running around all over the place. Okay, so as I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start clearing this place up. I may just do that between episodes, just start removing all of these legacy uh, heaters and drills and uh, stashing the resources uh, just to take a little bit of the, the load off the drones because right now they are filling containers that have never been filled before. So they are extremely busy. And it does seem as though the, uh, the drones kind of prioritize i don't know if they prioritize by first come first serve or whatever it is they they go in they full containers i don't know if it's if it's got anything to do with how close the resource is or when it was uh created so yeah right now we we have dropped a little on power so let's let's go see how our auto crafting of pulsars is doing because we only had like two left or something oh that's great all right uh I did add an explosives container over here because we need that. And I also added the fusion cell. But yeah, I'm not going to stock up fusion cells. You, you don't need a lot of them. All right, so that's five. Three more. That seems fair. Just to neaten this up, I'll have something to eat. Um, I need super alloys. And I need 12 of them. One too many. All right, so we're going to go and build three more fusion reactors. Luckily, we can now create our own pulsars. Still a bit confused about why we can't uh, handcraft them. It's uh, news to me, unless I'm missing something. I mean, you're welcome to give me a comment. While you're down there, you know, hit the like and subscribe. All right, we're, we're here. We're going to build... Three more. All right, look at that beautiful row of... Wow, we've come a long way. Lots of power. All right, let's go and see what that's done for us. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we got lots of power. Now we can we can do more stuff. All right, but um, I think this is probably where we're going to leave it. We we have progressed very well. We haven't really boosted the heat and pressure too much uh, from the beginning of the episode, or the biomass for that matter. But uh, it's it's still ticking along, and that's the nice thing about this game. As long as you've got power, things just tend to tick along, and it doesn't matter how fast or slow you go. So let's have a look at the unlocks. We've uh, unlocked pretty much. I think we've unlocked everything in this blueprint area yeah and in the bio unlocked unlocked right the next unlock is mutagen tier two which is coming soon so that's that's good so then we can then we can move on and we can really start focusing on on the fish and get that system all set up but in the meantime we we have pretty much actual automation so now when I want to expand, if I want to do rockets, I've got all the stuff. If I want to uh, build more heaters or drills or uh, tree spreaders or whatever, everything is here in one location and I just have to come and pick it up and head out and go and do my thing. And uh, yeah, we will get, we will make it even easier when we start getting teleporters. But yeah, that's going to be a little while. I'd like to build up a little bit first and break down, obviously, all the old stuff that we have, all the legacy stuff that's lying around the various parts of the map yeah that's where we're going to leave it folks thank you so much for joining me if you like the video give us a like if you want to see more hit subscribe hit the bell icon for notifications let me know what you think um let me know if i've missed anything or if there's something funny going on with the pulsar i, I honestly thought you could handcraft it so until next time cheers